just to be clear, there is no installation in the room. I don't know what that means. Morning, everyone. Today's project, I teased on it several videos ago with the mystery box that was in the garage. Okay, here we go. This is the key to David taking hot showers anytime he wants. So this thing is fairly simple. You have gas in, water in, water out. You got a switch, and then you got a funny switch here that I'm gonna have to read the instructions. I don't know what that does. It says on, off, on, off. Lefty's gonna check it out. So this one is able to heat 18 liters a minute on liquid propane gas. So we're gonna hold this thing up there, mark out the four holes. I'm gonna drill pilot holes and then we're gonna screw it in. So this should be up and installed shortly. So it's gonna go into this closet here so this is a ventilated closet. This used to have the old oxygen system in it. You can see the uh, hoses are still here. Um, so I just uh, added the propane tank. I put a couple of these um, eye hook things that I have. Uh, so you can see I've, I've got them screwed in. I've got one here and then one around the back side there. I put a couple of pieces of this foam, one against the back wall and one here. So the, the tank is basically hugged up into that corner against those two pieces of foam. So, and it's got a rubber mat uh, that was in here underneath it. So it's not going anywhere. Uh, okay, here we go. So it's in there. It took us two tries the first time we mounted it. You can see we were about an inch over here. And when we went to close it, it banged into this locating pin for the, for the door closing system. So we unscrewed it, moved it over about an inch, four new holes, put it back on. So it's up there, it's not going anywhere. And this will be my initial water supply. That's a seven gallon. for your treats to thaw? Yes, I know. So, oh, they got a thaw, buddy. So there is what I'm in the process of installing. This is a hot water heater. Just to be clear, there is no installation in the room. I don't know what that means. So this is uh, reported to be 18 liter or minute throughput. So it's a fairly simple unit. You got uh, gas control, which is, you know, temperature, water pressure, which can also change the temperature. So it has winter and summer mode. 
So in summer mode, I guess it deactivates some of the burners because um, you don't need as many because it's already warm out. So that makes sense. So I've been collecting the pieces and parts for this install. I had to buy uh, a propane tank. I had to get a water pump. Uh, these fittings and this fitting specifically right here, the gas connection on this heater was, uh, you know, not standard for propane. And so multiple searches and local stores and I walked into Home Depot here locally the other day and found a fitting that I thought would work and I was going to find a propane hose so that I could test it. And the guy's like, hey, what do you need? I said, well, where's your propane hoses? He's like, what are you trying to do? And I explained it to him and he said, no, that fitting you got is the wrong one. The one I had had a compression fitting on the end. He walked over and said, no, this is the one you need right here. And lo and behold, it threaded onto the heater and the propane, standard propane hose size threaded right onto there. I told the guy I loved him. Uh, he was <laughs> a little taken back by that because I said, I've been searching all over for this. So thank you so much. So I think what we're gonna do, um, and then obviously I got some hose. So yesterday, yesterday I spent time running this wire out here. So this comes from the power closet inside and I'm putting a switch right here before the pump so that I can turn it on from out here. So I ordered a switch last night. I'm actually putting a circuit breaker right here with the manual reset, you know, so I can trigger the circuit breaker on and off from right here. So, um, so today we're going to cut the hose. So the pump, this is the input on the downside here. Um, and then the output is up. It has an arrow for direction of flow. I emailed their support. This is a, I believe it's Bayright is the name. And I'll put a link down in the description. It's specced as a, you know, an RV camper water pump. I emailed them to ask about orientation on the install. I described to them exactly how I was installing it. It's got about a 12 inch down to the water tank and then about a 20 inch with curve up to the heater. Um, and that I wanted to mount it like I'm showing here. And they replied back really quickly and said, what you're describing is gonna work fine. The orientation doesn't matter. And your distance that you're pulling and pushing is just fine for that pump, so you'll be golden. And they didn't use the word golden, but they said it would be fine. So uh, it was really great to get an email back so quickly from them. And it wasn't that expensive either. Um, I did get this propane hose. I wanted to make it longer so that I could, when I set up camp, I could take the propane tank out of the truck and set it outside. So that's why the hose is as long as it is. And this is a, a, it's got a low pressure regulator and also a gauge on there that tells me how much gas is left in the tank. Um, I've got these really nice wire tidies that I'm trying for the first time. So everybody has used the small plastic stick on ones and then you put a zip tie around them and the, the adhesive on the back never works. And so these actually, uh, you screw them in and then you put a zip tie around them. They're rigid plastic. I like them a lot better. We're gonna hook up this water hose today and then we're gonna test it. My daughter's coming over and I told her she's gonna be the guinea pig to get warm water. <laughs> these are the solderless wire connections that I've seen kind of become popular lately. So you, you strip back your two wires, you kind of twist them together, slide this thing over it. It already has solder inside of it and it's heat shrink. And then you use either a heat gun or a torch and it melts the solder and also sh heat shrinks it down. And so far I've done it twice. I'm impressed with it. Hi everybody. So after 
spending some time out here today, I just gloriously got the water heater to work. Uh, I had to make a second run to the store. Uh, it turned out that the hose I had, I had this size hose here, which was too big for the barbs on the pump. So I had to go get a new fitting up here that was smaller. Sorry, a new fitting up here for a smaller ID hose. Then they fit on the barbs here. So right now, again, I've got it run down into this water jug. So I got it all hooked up and it wouldn't start. So I, I basically packed it in for the day. I was gonna go, my only question was, um, I have the low pressure propane hose and I wasn't sure if that was right for this unit. So I just went and did a bunch of reading about it. And while I was poking around there, I remembered that I had seen, there's an adjuster. Uh, I'm sure anybody that's worked around a gas unit don't know if you can see it, but right here, you can put a flat blade screwdriver in there and turn it, and that's adjustment for gas pressure. So I started fiddling with that. It would run, the pump's running, this would turn on, you could hear it doing the, you know, trying to light, but it wouldn't light. And then after like five seconds, it stops trying to light itself. So I probably went through 15 full jugs of water trying to get this to work. So I tried turning that adjuster screw. I tried, you know, way out. I tried a whole bunch of different settings. I still could not get it to light. Then I noticed that the display was kind of blinking in and out. And I started thinking, are the batteries I put in there good? It takes two C size batteries. So I went and got another pair of batteries, came out, put them in, turned it on, it fired the first time. And I got hot water. The pump activates the heater. You turn the heater on, like it's on right now, but it's not enabled until it feels pressure coming up this line, water pressure. As Soon as the water pressure hits it, it comes on and lights itself. So if I had a remote switch, I'm already planning to put a, a switch right here. I ordered it last night. So you click, pump goes on, and the heater fires up. But if I'm out here taking a shower, I don't want to have to walk over there and turn that off because in the meantime, I'm sucking up a bunch of water, right? So I'm super happy. You know I am. I just went into my, my folks and I'm like, yay, because I was a little frustrated earlier. So I'm super happy that I got it working. Hi, gang. So here's the end to the shower project and the hot water heater. So check this out. You come out here, you got everything ready, you got your shower wand out here and you wanna take a shower, click. So this way you can, now I'm, gonna, I'm done, I'm gonna soap up, click. Turns it back off. So my wireless switch works flawlessly came with two remotes i've paired both of them they both work so this project is done all right uh, thanks everybody for watching the video today so it's a tough project just a lot of pieces to get together the fittings the different sizes scouring around to get everything um, getting the propane hose, getting the fitting for that propane hose was that guy at Home Depot was a godsend. I'm so happy I found him. So leave us a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for hanging around and watching and we'll see y'all real soon. Everybody be good.